Before we jump in in more complex shapes, let's look on some primitive that offer inside the view. And you can find them on the toolbar, left toolbar, right here. And of course, if we hold down button, it's expand and we can see we have all of these different type of primitives. So you can also access them from object, create, and right here you can see we have a sphere, cylinder, cube, cone, pyramid, torus, plan, and alpha plan. So we'll look on all of these simple primitives before we can jump and create all other different, more complex type of the object. So we'll begin by simple creating with our sphere. And you can see right here we have our sphere created. Let's bring it up and look with our camera. As well, you know what, till I'm here, let me go ahead and reset this to photo standard. Click OK, so we can preview bigger screen. OK, this is a very simple, um, straightforward sphere. And you can see it's actually have quite a bit polygons, 862. OK, so next one, if we look, we'll have our cylinder, cube, pyramid, and so on, cone, trapezoid, and other ones. This is very, um, very simple, very basic. The next one that's coming a little bit different. So we have our plane, and if we click, you can see right here we're creating a simple flat plane. It's almost a no uh, polygons in the size, but it's more polygons over top. So this is type. Okay, you know what? Let's select. And we'll just a little bit rotate so we can see shape a little bit right there. So you can see our plane. The other one's alpha plane. This is kind of a special one. And this is by opening. You can see we have options for pop us where we can load it one picture. We can load it alpha picture, preview this, and also we can preload it sequence of the image so we can actually can animate. Um, using alpha plane, it's very useful in a way if you want to create a distance forest that far away that you don't need even 3D in a kind of static state right there, or you preloaded any special cutoffs or other elements. So in some cases, if you want to create like far away plants, we can go ahead, open our image, and from here we can select all different you can see right here we have it already kind of cut off with alpha so for example let's select just this road sign okay right here and we'll go to select alpha and you can see as we're selecting it is cut off this distance there are also few options we have it we have it adjust plane proportion so it will scale properly and also we have a billboard billboard is allow this sign always face the active camera. So in this case, if my camera is rotated and I'll go on the side, you remember with like plane before, we don't want to see the zero edge element. We want to see front. So in this case, it's always face it. But be careful with this because if you look on the sign and rotate your camera in animations, you will see the sign almost rotated follow you. However, this billboard will be work very well for the far distant forest with low polygons if we want to create it. So let's right now we kind of let's leave it on, keep it vertical. Also, as we have this plane options open, you notice right here we use it one, it's loaded, we can remove it. We can actually also rotate clockwise on counterclockwise. We also can invert our image. And we also can set gamma. The gamma settings is a little bit more for the advanced use and we'll look on this in our future tutorials. So overall it's same things for the alpha. How I said before, you can also preload it, pre-animated images if you need it. And for example, if we go here and click on animations, we can go and select fire. Okay, so let's delete this one. And this fire will be pre-animated and you will see it's kind of going up firing. So we can also just let's click on this alpha invert. So we'll cut off some black colors. And right here we have a transparent fire. So if we click on, 
and we look closer we'll see just fire going in this alt plane okay so let me go deleted other ones and don't worry if we're going a little bit too fast we'll use it those alpha planes in our project when we're going to create a distant forest with low polygons the beauty of the um the primitives that that is a basic blocks and i saw some people created astonishing um type of the modeling inside the view just to use the primitives and boiling options but what we're going to do in our project we'll go to use all these different type of boolings to create more complex shape of the terrains or rocks for example see right here we can take a, a sphere we can modify we can skew kind of changing and by the way if you need copy hold down alt or option key on the mac and just drag with your by clicking left mouse and drag and you can see we're actually duplicating in this point so right now you can see i kind of created all these different shapes okay let's take our main camera bring just slightly closer to our bull information right here okay and as we render you can see it just using those kind of distorted um spheres however if we take all of those spheres combine them together and we're going to select a meta blob let's look what's happening right now you'll notice they become as one shape so combining with this meta blob we can create a different elements we can animate it to create it very liquid because all of the spheres is here so if we take this one sphere and bring down and we'll render one more frame you can see how we can easily animate this scale so of course our texture right now it is world based so it's worked nice but you can see how we can modify also other things by combining this meta blob primitives that we have it put them together combine and using the actually um displacement materials okay right actually we want displacement materials on everything so we'll go right there let's go to assign tone materials and we'll render you can see how we can create a very unique rock formation or mountains or other elements based on this so right here this is very unique rock like again and we did it by using just simple primitives and putting them together so again right here what we have it in our sphere we can use a cylinder cube pyramid cone torus torus is very nice to make arches if you need it we also have a plane that we can still using displacement on this as well and alpha planes <laughs>